Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make these cute little octopi. Um, they're no so, they're really easy to make, and uh, let's get started. Alrighty, so first we're going to start by making um, a round with six single crochets in it. So usually you would do a magic ring and you can do that, but with this yarn it's a little bit difficult to make a magic ring close. So what I'm going to do is going to make a little slip knot and then I'm going to crochet two. So one, two, and then I'm going to go back into this first loop over here and I'm going to crochet six single crochets into this. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six. And then you can pull this a little bit to make this little hole close up a little bit, but it's not really going to do much with this yarn. Alrighty, for the next round, we are going to increase um, in every single stitch, but let me put a stitch marker first so we don't lose our spot. Okay, so now we're going to increase every stitch. So we're going to put two into this stitch, so one, two, and then two into this stitch, one, two, and then we're going to do that all the way around. Now we're going to put our stitch marker in our last stitch here that we made, and now we're going to increase every other one. So we're going to do one into this first stitch, and then two into the second one, and then one, and then two, and then we're just going to do that all the way around. Okay, so for this next round, we're going to do two single crochets and then an increase. So one and then two and then double in this one. And then we're just going to do that all the way around. Okay, so now we finished with that and now we should have 24 stitches all the way around so I already counted and you can count yours to make sure that there's 24 if there's too many you can undo one of the doubles or if there's not enough you can do another double and now what we're going to do is we're going to make a single crochet around uh, all the way around and we're going to do that four times so we're going to do four rounds of just single crochets so just single crochets. Okay, so I now have done four rounds of just single crochets and now uh, at what I do at this point is I'm going to pull this little extra piece through the top so that we don't have to deal with that later. And now all what we're going to do is make the tentacles. So. We're going to go into the back loop only of our piece, so the back loop, and we're going to single crochet, um, no, we're going to chain eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now what we're going to do is we're going to double crochet. So we're going to, um, wrap our yarn around our hook and then we're going to go into this third loop here and we're going to do one double crochet and then we're going to go to the next one down and we're going to do two double crochets into this one so one two and then we're going to do two double crochets all the way down this tentacle into each one of these loops so there's one, there's two, one, two, and then we're also going to put one into this last 
uh, this first chain that we did. We're going to put two, sorry. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet into the back loop of this one. We're going to do one, then we're going to single crochet into this other back loop here, one, and then we're going to, again, in the back loop, we're going to do one, and now we're going to chain eight. So that was one, now we're going to do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to redo what we did in the first one where we go into this third one and we do one double crochet and then we do double two double crochets into each of these loops and we're going to then we're going to do one single crochet in this back loop one single crochet in this back loop and then chain eight over here and we're going to do that all the way around Alrighty, so i'm done with seven of them and i will just show you this last one um so again back into the back loop and then one two three four five six seven eight and then double crochet only one in that one and then two all the way down one two one two One, two, and then two down here. One, two, okay, and then back loop of the body. One, two. And now we've reached this other tentacle. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put our stitch marker here at our last stitch. And then we're going to go down into, so all these front loops that we still have, it's a little bit hard to see, but you can see that there's still a bunch of these front loops. We're going to go into each of these front loops. So we're going to go this front loop and we're going to do a single crochet and then this front loop, single crochet, and then into this front loop, and we're going to pull the yarn through, but we're going to leave it there. We're going to go into this next front loop and then leave there. Now we have three loops on the hook. Now we're going to pull it through all the way. So that's a decrease. So we're going to do two single crochets and then a decrease. And we're going to do that all the way around until we get back to our stitch marker. Okay, so now you can see that the octopus is getting closed up. Now what we're going to do is add the eyes. So I am going to use some of the biggest eyes I have, which are not that big, but this octopus is pretty small. So I'm going to be using this size. And I like to put them maybe three or one, two, so in like the third row maybe, but it really is just up to you. So I like to make sure that it's not going to fall out. I like to put it in between stitches. Alrighty, and now what we are going to do is we're going to flip this back over and we are going to do Oops, let me twist it up We're going to do um, We don't have to focus about 
black loops and front loops anymore. We can just go into both loops. So we're going to do one single crochet and then we're going to do a decrease. And then one single crochet, decrease, and we're going to do that all the way around. Okay, so our hole is closing up pretty fast now. Now what we're going to do is stuff it. And you can use little yarn scraps. I just buy pillows, like throw pillows from my thrift store and then I use the stuffing out of them. So we're going to stuff this uh, pretty tight so that it holds its shape but not super tight so it's like hard. Alrighty, now what we're going to do is we are going to de decrease in every stitch. So, we're going into the loop, into the second loop, and then pulling through all three of those, and we're going to do that all the way around. So. Okay, and then once we reach our stitch marker here, you can do another decrease. I'm just going to do a slip stitch. So I'm going to pull my yarn through and then instead of grabbing it again, I'm going to pull this through that loop. And now I'll take my stitch marker out and I will cut my yarn with a little bit of a tail. Now what I'm going to do is sew this closed. So I'll take my big needle and I'll go through this loop, this loop, and then I'll pull it tight. Then I just like to tie it off a little bit so it doesn't come undone. And then you can use your scissors to push it into your work. And there it is. That's my no sew octopus. Now the arms look a little bit weird right now. So you can just twist them yourself to make them those pretty little curls or you can just leave them going wild if you want it to look like that. And there you go. Alrighty everybody, thank you for watching the video. I always enjoy making these. I, I think they turn out super cute. I hope you enjoy making them as well, and I'll see you next time.